statement? Okay. Well, we're really sad right now because uh, we were on a pretty good roll right there and um, in trying to take games one by one, this, this one ended up uh, knocking us off here. Lafayette did an amazing job. They had a great game plan and they came in here with great energy. Um, when we went to our press, they handled it well by going over the top of it and throwing it long. I think they scored three times on that. Um, so that made it difficult to us to, for us to pressure them like we wanted to. Um, I think their effort was great on rebounding. This was one of our worst rebounding games, I think. Um, we barely, barely out-rebounded them, and their effort was just so good, like uh, jumping up to rebound. And even if we did bump somebody or, or block them out, they would still jump, jump really high and um, give it all they had to rebound. So this, so Lafayette, hats off to them. They came in here ready to play. Um, just got to go back to the drawing board and see what, what we need to do to get a lot better because it's not going to get any easier from here. Um. They outscored y'all in the second and the fourth quarter by 20 points in the second quarter and 30 points. They made they scored 30 points in the fourth quarter. How do you go into the next game learning how to stop them from outscoring? Well, we, you know, number five, I believe, is a freshman. And, you know, we really didn't expect her to come out and go four for five in the fourth quarter. But we have to be prepared for things like that. So that's one way we would start. We would start there and work backwards, like what happens when a shooter gets hot in the, in the midst of a game. Um, you know, we, we have to know that without me having to burn a timeout to, to tell them that. We have to know we need to de deny them the ball. So that's where we would probably start. Uh, winning streak came to an end today. What kind of goes into starting up a new streak next week? Mm -hmm. Well, it's all, about how, it's all about the rebound, right? It's all about the bounce back. So um, you have to learn from your mistakes. This was Coach Graf Scout. She will go back to the drawing board, and she will probably watch a lot of film on this game, and she'll be prepared to teach the team what mistakes we made and how to overcome them in the film room. Um, and then it's about our attitude and effort and motivation and, and the focus just to get back and try to start another streak. Japonica James has really been a catalyst for the team um, since day one this year. Uh, she's kind of had, uh, wasn't able to find the basket the last couple of games, but then really found it today. How important is it for her and for the team that She's finding, refining that groove that she started out uh, such a great season with. I think it's very important. Um, you know, she hasn't been back in a groove since we've been off from our Christmas break. And to me, that's almost expected. It's like she has to come back, get focused, get focused in and dialed in and get her body back in tune to basketball. And so I'm thankful that she showed back up today. And I think it's just going to keep getting better and better with her here on, from here on out. Jasmine Robinson continues to have arguably the best season from or improvement in seasons from last year to this year dropped another 20 points she's had at least 13 in every conference game so far this season how big is is her development from her sophomore year to her junior year it might be one of the biggest uh, lines of development uh, that I've ever seen as a coach. I mean, the improvement that she's made. And, you know, we love to get transfers. We love to get junior college players. But she's one that we had since she was a freshman. And we took a lot of lumps with her, good times and bad, growing up. But she has grown up. And hats off to her, the amount of determination. Um, she's had lows. She had to be a point guard very early for us as a freshman. She had to start many, many games for us. And so she took a lot of lumps. But she's come back. Talk about the rebound. She rebounds well and she works hard after a loss. And that kind of thing so her improvement is off the charts. Now the team kind of started slow it was a losing effort but you have to be somewhat proud that the team never gave up even though they fell, fell, fell behind by seven in the first half ended up taking an eight point lead late in a losing effort but you got to be a little bit I'm very little very bit proud that they're just great Trojans they are very good Trojans and that's what Trojans do um, an underdog mentality which really we need to get back to that instead of feeling like we've won nine games in a row it's kind of perfect for us to feel like no we've been knocked off and we've got to fight and claw our way back um, when we have that mentality, it's, it's hard to beat, but I guess we had lost a little bit of that today. Um, I told Jasmine that I can see her as Japonica and J-Rob. I see them as like the dynamic duo. How important is that duo on the court during games like this? I mean, it's huge. So we depend on their energy, right? They, they need to be positive and be full of energy. It's contagious with other folks. And kind of on the defensive end, that's Kate Rogers. She does the same thing for us on the defensive end. So everybody needs to know their roles. We're dependent on those three to do, to do those things every night as everyone else has a role. So, um, you know, I think this game even solidified it more. From the beginning, everybody's got to do their role from the tip. You can't, you can't wait till we get down.